welcome. I'm Michelle Marchant Johnson with Love Life Coaching, and I'm here today with a lovely guest, and that is the amazing Cami Ellen. Welcome, Cami. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Hi, everyone. Cami is a wonderful love coach and marriage and family therapist, and she and I just recorded an incredible interview on 10 things to leave behind in 2020 so that you can find the one in 2021. And we're inviting you to hear this full interview by clicking on the link below to join us for an upcoming event called Find the One in 21. But we want to give you a little taste or a little flavor of what might be to come. So, Cami, I want to ask you this question. What is one thing that you commonly see that holds women back from having the love or relationship that they desire? Um, you know, we just had this amazing conversation and, uh, as we were talking, um, there were so many things that I wanted to say, but I, you know, we were talking about how probably one of the most important things is not really taking the time to know yourself, who you are. And what you really deeply need and desire in a partnership in order to have uh, true fulfillment and a sustaining love relationship. And that, and the way to do that is to really take time to create your vision for love. And I think a lot of times um, women, they have an idea, you know, oh, well, I want to, I want to have a partner or, um, you know, there's the cliche, the tall, dark and handsome. Mm -hmm. Um, but don't take enough time. There's so many aspects of the vision for love. And the first is the specificity of the kind of relationship that you're wanting. You mm -hmm. know, do you want to get married? Do you want kids? Do you not want kids? Do you, um, want to live together? Do you not want to live together? There are all different types and forms of relationships, but I think it's really important to, to figure out what that looks like. And then within the form of what it is, what are the qualities and characteristics that you want in the partnership itself? Mm -hmm. You know, is it, is it loving? Is it caring? Is it communicative? Is it passionate? Is it creative? Um, it's going to look different for everybody. But I think it's really important to know, well, what are those qualities and characteristics in the partnership itself? And then the two people in the relationship. So you're looking for someone, what are the qualities and characteristics in that partner? A lot of times people stop there and right. then they forget, well, wait, you're in that partnership too. So who are you in this partnership? What are your qualities and characteristics to be a match to that person? And the really good thing about this Something that, you know, you can take action on today is do this vision process, create what that relationship looks like, the qualities and characteristics in the partner and in yourself, take those lists, start living those qualities and characteristics in yourself, start embodying them now, mm -hmm. become that future self now in the present and and that's going to help you, you know, right away, you're becoming that woman that's a match for that partner in, in the present and starting to grow and change and shift and starting to create energy around drawing this in. And I can keep talking. And I know I talk about more of this in our, in our interview, but I think that this visioning process is so important and um, very key to calling in love in 2021. I think it's so key, Cami, because if we don't know where we're going, if we don't have that destination in mind, it's like getting in the car and just starting to drive without really knowing where you're going. You could end up anywhere, That's but right. you're not necessarily being clear about where it is you're going. That's and, right. And so yes. I just think it's so important. And as we discussed in our uh, conversation when you have this clarity about your vision, what I think is so important about it is that it helps you so that you're not going off on these detours, getting involved with someone who may be yes. nice, but the wrong person or That's who doesn't right. share that same vision with you. Yes. Yeah. It's really helpful to be able to, and we were talking about, there's no shame in 2021. So it's not about blaming or shaming yourself or anybody else. 
but just to see, oh, okay, wait, I have committed to my vision that the partner will have this quality and that quality and this quality, and the person doesn't. That doesn't mean he's not a perfectly nice, great person, but just not a match for what you are wanting or the opposite for you. Maybe you check in with yourself and you're seeing how you're showing up and behaving in your day-to-day -day life. And you realize like, oh gosh, I'm still doing that thing where I don't honor my needs. I'm still doing that thing where um, I don't show up as a confident high value woman. Oh, I'm still doing this, this other thing. All it does is it's that barometer as you said, it's that inner GPS to help you get, oh, okay, I'm going to get back on track because I'm going to this destination. And if I do these old things, I'm going to keep getting what I've gotten and I want to shift my outcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think at the beginning of a new year, as we, you know, as we head into 2021, I think at the beginning of the new year is a perfect time to really cast your vision and get real clear and define that vision in a really powerful way. I think the other thing it does for people is it inspires them. So if you're dating and you have this really clear, inspiring vision of what you want, it also helps you to kind of get through the ups and downs and the and the bumps along the way when you're dating, the disappointments, because your vision is big enough to inspire you to yes. keep going. And I think yeah. that's such a key. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. All right. Well, this has been so much fun, Cami, And we really want to invite you to join us to uh, come to the full event. It's free, but you do have to register. So click on the link below and enter your name and email address. And you have to hear what Cami's 10 things are to leave behind mm -hmm. in 2020 so that you can find love in 2021. And she not only told us what the 10 things are, but also an antidote on how to really leave them behind so that you can have that vision of love that inspires you. So, Cami, thank you once again for your generous contribution to the event. You're so welcome. I'm so happy to be part of it. Yes, thank you. We're so happy to have you. And everybody listening, join us. Just click on the link below and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye, everybody. Now.